Hello everyone and welcome back to the Acumed channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the, the Communicator Surgical Mask with Clear Window. That's really what caught my attention with these face masks is the clear window. I've never really seen something like this and the picture looks a little creepy. <laughs> they come in a box of $40 for $62, which is pretty pricey. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these masks. This is how they look. They do have a plastic clear in the center. And when you open them, this is how they look. The only way that I can describe this material from the inside and how it feels, it feels like baby diaper. The ear loops, oh, okay. So these are, it looks like they're like sewed on. So these are made in China and they are a level three, which should test at least 98% of PFE. So I'm gonna try these on really quick before we run them through our TSI machine. So it, they do actually come with a nose wire. So I'm gonna play around with the nose wire really quick. And it's so weird that you can actually see my mouth. <laughs> One thing that I am going to point out is that it does build up a lot of condensation. I do feel like I am getting a lot of moisture. And I, you guys can tell it's getting foggy, but also my lips are touching the mask as I am talking. So with that being said, I'm not even going to take this off because you guys can read my lips, but let's go ahead and see how these test on our TSI machine. We're going to be testing both the filtration efficiency percentage and the pressure drop. This is our TSI machine model 8130A, which is also the same filtration testing machine that NIOSH uses to approve N95 respirators. Our procedure is also inspired by NIOSH. We first run a tester setup and start removing the headband from the respirator before placing it onto the testing plate to ensure a proper seal. Then we make sure that the mask is properly and completely sealed with hot glue to the testing plate. When applying the hot melt glue, we make sure that there is no holes or leakage around the seal to ensure accurate results. The testing plate is then attached to the frame and the box is placed under the TSI filter holder for testing. The results are displayed on the TSI monitor. F stands for airflow rate, which we test at 85 liters per minute. R is for resistance, also referred to as pressure drop. This correlates with the breathability. So the lower the number, the more comfortable and breathable the mask is. E stands for filtration efficiency percentage. The first sample had an 83.50% filtration efficiency with a pressure drop of 97.6 millimeters of water. The second sample had a filtration efficiency of 83.50 with a pressure drop of 25.4 millimeters of water. The last sample's filtration efficiency percentage was 98.48% and had a pressure drop of 125.9 millimeters of water. So we're back now and as you guys saw from the TSI test results, unfortunately, these are not a mask that we can recommend. I made sure to test it flat and it gave us a pressure drop of over 10 millim 100 millimeters of water, which is obviously extremely high. Another mask I tested, I tested it and folded a little bit sort of like this so that it could have a more surface area. But although this way the pressure drop did go down, it was still very high. So overall, the test results were failing for the ASTM level three requirements. I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know what mask we should test next, or if you would like to send in a mask or respirator, please look at the description down, down below. We're gonna be having our address along with our website, which is acumed.com. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.